Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nick Toma and I'm Paula Giangiacomo in for Candace Kelly. A Luzerne County Board of Election member abstained Monday during a vote to certify the November election results only to change his mind later in the day. It is unchartered territory for Luzerne County, which has been in the national spotlight in recent years because of ongoing problems running its elections. 2822 Eyewitness News I-Team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us live from the Luzerne County Courthouse with more. Andy? Well, good evening, Paula and Nick. Today I spoke to Dan Schramm, the election board member who abstained during that vote here on Monday morning to certify the election. That resulted in a two to two deadlock vote, two yes votes to no votes. Schramm tells me he wanted to make sure he addressed the concerns of voters. I really didn't change really quickly. Uh, I had left and then I started to look and investigate things. Dan Schramm says he wanted to take a closer look at the concerns and questions being raised by voters who turned out for the election board meeting Monday morning. I really didn't change my mind until probably around 3 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So I had gone through and looked at a lot of counts, a lot of things, and uh, it wasn't just a uh, one time, you know, half hour later, my mind was changed. No, I really looked into a lot of different things. Among those things, Schramm says, voters' concerns that some people were turned away from polling places because of a paper shortage. One of the things when they said so many people were turned away, I looked around to see who many were, how many were turned away, who turned away. I contacted the Board of Election and talked to Beth McBride. And she said she had contacted the judges of elections of about 125 precincts, and they said they turned no one away. So that was two-thirds of the precincts, roughly. So nobody was turned away. Schramm says he also wants to respond to concerns from some voters that their votes cast on paper may not have been counted. If a ballot had all X's on it, the X's were counted. The machine couldn't count it, but the humans, the, the Board of Election, we counted them. As it. If there were check marks, we counted them. Schramm tells me he will indeed vote to certify the election results at a special meeting 1 o'clock Wednesday. He says he understands voter frustrations. Where do we go from here moving forward with, with all the questions? Uh, I really don't know. I think what we need is uh, more training for the poll workers and that and possibly looking to see about it if we want to run our elections a new way advancing forward. Now under state law, the election results had to be certified 20 days after the election, which was Monday. Counties that do not could face penalties. But a spokesperson for the Department of State, which oversees elections in the Commonwealth, issued a statement to Eyewitness News that read in part, at present there is no indication that the county would face penalties. However, the department continues to monitor the situation. And I'm told those penalties could indeed include fines. That same spokesperson tells me they're working right now with Luzerne County election officials moving forward in this process. And keep in mind, folks, all of this is taking place as the Luzerne County DA, Sam Sangodoshi, is investigating the circumstances around the paper shortage. Nick and Paula. Boy, a lot of new uh, news on that one today. Andy, thank you for the update.